Hello, everyone, friends. And today we will again escape from this scary Mr. Yummy supermarket. It looks like we've reached Mom's bedroom. If you like and subscribe to the channel now, I will show you what she does there. Come on, guys. About three, two, one. Bluey, get out of here now. I changed my clothes here. <laughs> I can't say that this supermarket is really scary. Rather, this supermarket is very big and dangerous, and we need to overcome all the trials that await us ahead. Looks like someone spilled mustard ketchup here. Okay, good thing we can jump over all these stripes, and now we're heading to the next location. I wonder what will be waiting for us here. Oh, it looks like this is a large shopping hall. Look, it's that same Mr. Yummy. Okay, we need to try to get through this hall so that he gets to us and doesn't grab us. Oh no, he's already running towards us, but I really want to collect all these candies. I'm really curious to know what we'll get for them. We almost escaped from this guy. Great, we finally found ourselves on the stairs. By the way, this fat and scary guy fell asleep. I don't think he fell asleep completely. More likely he just fell and lost consciousness. Okay, now we need to run along this pipe and head straight to this staircase. There is some kind of shop here, but I don't think we should use it. And by the way, those candies are really well hidden. Sometimes it's really impossible to notice them. Okay, we've already collected four out of 25, and I really hope we can get them all, because I'd really like to know what we'll get for them. It would be cool if we got some skin or something like that. Okay, now we need to walk through this shopping area, and it looks like someone spilled a lot of milk here. It seems to me that someone spilled water here too and now we need to fly past it. By the way, these yellow things looked extremely strange. For a long time, I couldn't understand what it really was. French fries or some other yellow things? Okay, we just need to go through all these tests now, and it seems to me that it will really be as easy as possible because here, we practically don't need to jump over anything. It's all as easy as possible. I always laughed at this test. It seems really simple. Here, we just need to run straight and not pay attention to anything because obstacles do not damage us. In general, this game is not that hard. All the tests here are pretty easy. And the fact that we accidentally died last time was only because we didn't know that we really shouldn't step on the water. Okay, now we drove through this yellow pipe and ended up in a pool with balls. By the way, this is also so strange that the developers decided to just add a picture of balls instead of adding real balls here. Okay, it looks like they don't know how to actually do this. Now we need to go further past the vegetable section. There are flying fruits and vegetables here. I think we need to quickly go through this corridor. By the way, the delay between the flight of these fruits and vegetables is quite large. Okay. We got to the book section, and before that, we took one more red thing. This maze of bookshelves is really annoying me. We need to find the candies here, and here it is right next to us. Great. We have already collected 13 of the 25 pieces, and it seems to me more and more that we really are able to find all 25 candies here today. Okay, we got to the door and opened it. Now we took another candy, and it looks like everything is closed for renovation here. Apparently, Mr. Yummy wanted to open a new grocery department, but it looks like he didn't quite succeed. The main thing is that we managed to overcome all this, and now we're heading straight to the kitchen. I remember that some boss is waiting for us in this kitchen. Now we will fight against Mrs. Yummy. In fact, she does not look like that at all. Rather... She looks like Miss Nasty or Mrs. Armpit Stink. That was pretty rude, but I absolutely agree with you. And now, after we beat her, we can move on. Look, there are a huge number of hanging burgers here. We managed to avoid them, and now we run further. By the way, it seems strange to me that lately we have hardly encountered a single candy that we could pick up. Someone scattered Lego here! And by the way, it seems that this game has some problems with textures. Okay, I think it's time to take the offense to the department where they sell clothes. Um, this supermarket is really huge. It looks like this Mr. Yummy tried really hard to build it. 
I'm still sure that this game has really big problems with textures. Yes, I completely agree with you. These textures are really the most terrible. In fact, it seems to me that before this, we missed several of these candies because we hadn't seen them for quite a long time. But I hope that it only seems that way to me. Well, we picked up the 17th candy and now we need to go forward so that these blades don't kill us. But it was a pretty easy test and now another blue ventilation awaits us. Oh my God, I remember this huge blue ventilation. In fact, it is a very large labyrinth. By the way, just look. Near this ventilation sits the alien from whom we escaped last time. I remember it very well. Well, okay, now we need to explore this entire huge blue ventilation in order to find a way out of here. But it seems to me that these direction arrows will help us do this. Okay, we went into some strange black portal. It looks like the developers disguised the exit from the ventilation. And now we go to the meat department, and in this meat department, there are huge pieces of meat hanging on chains. By the way, I am very surprised that our character does not freeze because logically we are now in a large refrigerator. I think we should stop looking for logic in this game again, because now we are trying to escape from a supermarket that belongs to some huge black monster in a suit. It seems to me that absolutely everything is strange here, so I think we shouldn't be surprised that our character doesn't freeze in the refrigerator. And by the way, it looks like there are some strange red platforms in this warehouse that we weren't supposed to step on. Yes, these red platforms are really very strange. It looks like some kind of hot pieces of iron or lava or something like that. In fact, I don't even want to try to find out what it is because it makes absolutely no sense. Finally, we escape from here. Okay, it looks like this is the exit door, and now we just have to get through the parking lot. I'm very glad that we were finally able to actually get to the exit from here. And by the way, it seems to me that these cars are moving very strangely. It looks like the drivers in them are crazy. By the way, it looks like we missed some candies during our walkthrough of the game. Because now we have picked up the 19th one, and we have finally reached the end of this game. By the way, this guy Halloween costume and today we really coped with this game very quickly by the way just look we can stand right on his head while this guy cries and by the way there is also a descent into some kind of subway it looks like this mr. yummy should go to the prison and now we can move on straight to the next game I'm still surprised that no one was worried about their teacher being a robot okay we short-circuited this robot and now we have to run away from her down this long corridor we need to find the right route now. In fact, I forget it every time because this corridor looks really long and it is absolutely unclear where we need to turn. I hope we are running correctly. Oh no, it looks like we've reached some kind of dead end. Well, I hope we can escape from her here. We were able to deceive her very cleverly, but now we won't have a second chance and we definitely need to avoid all the dead ends. And now we need to find the right way out of here. It would be great if there were at least a few signs here in which direction we need to run, because now all that is left for you is to run here at random. Okay, I really hope that we will actually be able to find the right route. I think we've been here before. Although maybe I have this feeling only because all the corridors here are the same. Great, we finally found the first sign, and right now we're going to escape from her through the ventilation. God, I'm so glad we managed to pass the first test without dying even once. I think that we will also be able to go through this game pretty quickly. Why did we go down into some kind of ventilation? Now we will need to jump on these platforms so as not to fall down. These platforms turned out to be extremely fragile, but we were able to run through them. Okay, now the main thing is that we don't get crushed by these strange spiky things. Oh my God, it's those fans again. They actually really irritate me because I remember we were playing some horror game recently where we couldn't get through them. And now we're in the gym and now we'll have to run away from Miss Annie again. Every time she appears as suddenly as possible and it makes me very scared. Well, it's good that this time we will also be able to deceive her and now we will need to turn right when leaving the gym. I can already see the signs where we need to run. Looks like we need to run straight to this toilet. Great, 
Now we need to jump into this manhole, and now we're in some kind of sewer. Oh, no. Looks like we weren't supposed to touch that pipe. Well, okay. I guess now we need to figure out a way to jump over all that poison gas. I think the best way is to run along the left side of that pipe. Great idea. Thanks to this plan, we were able to go further. Oh, my God, it's so dark in here. I can't even imagine how we'll be able to go forward. Wait, I didn't see that there was actually a bend in the pipe here. Oh, my God, it's really extremely dark in this room, and I have to walk along this pipe by touch. The main thing is not to rush, and then we will definitely be able to get through all this. Okay, it seems to me that we have almost passed through this entire pipe. Just a little bit left. Great, we got to the source of light. Now we need to go up the stairs, and then we will head straight to the dungeon of the scary robot duck. I can already hear her quack, although it may just be my imagination. She's already very close. Lord, we need to quickly find a way out of this dungeon. We need to urgently look for the red arrow that will finally lead us out of here. Finally, we found the red arrow. Now we're going to escape from it through this pipe. Cool. Finally, we were able to find ourselves outside. Now we need to climb up this ladder, and we need to do it very carefully so that these spikes don't crush us. I hope we can actually do this. Great. We managed to avoid all those spikes. Well, now we're heading to the next location. Okay, here we need to jump over those lasers. By the way, it's still completely unclear to me why there are lasers in the school. But it looks like it's some kind of security system or something like that. Where did these giant rusty traps come from? It looks like the teacher's robots have gone crazy and set traps for the students. Okay, now we need to get to the art class and now we need to get past these mannequins so that they can't reach us. I don't think this will be a difficult test for us. We ran very quickly past all these mannequins and now we are on the street. By the way, look, we were able to jump over this fence, but it looks like we fell through the texture. Okay, apparently it will not be possible to escape from this school by deception, and we will have to follow the route that the game offers us. I think we can definitely handle this. Now we need to go through this door and go down the stairs. Okay, now we're heading straight to the next location. It looks like now we'll end up in a cafeteria where we'll need to escape from the robot cook. This guy moves really fast. I hope he doesn't manage to catch us. The only obstacle for us here is this strange pink liquid that is spilled here on the floor. Now we need to figure out how to trick this guy. By the way, the sounds he makes are really too loud. Oh no! He managed to catch us. Lord, it looks like we need to be extremely careful with this pink liquid. I hope that on the second try, we will definitely be able to escape from him. By the way, this guy is running towards us right now. Well, okay, let's try to choose another route so that we can escape from him, and it looks like he himself is disgusted by stepping in this pink liquid. We can take advantage of this. By the way, now it seems to me that we have chosen the ideal route, and this guy will not be able to catch up with us. Great, we are already in the ventilation, and now nothing threatens us. Now we are swimming in some strange water. It seems to me that I would never dive into such a liquid because I think it is extremely uncomfortable, at least because it is sewage liquid. Okay, now let's finally swim out of here. I'm still waiting for us to finally get out of here. Great, finally. We ended up in some kind of pool. Now we need to find a way out of this pool, and then we'll need to finally try to completely escape from this school. By the way, just look. We're already right at the exit. Finally, we're outside. Well, I hope no one will stop us from escaping from this school. Now we need to get out of its territory as soon as possible. Oh no, look, it's Miss Annie and that same Roba the Duck and they want to catch us right now. Well, we need to trick them and then head straight to the school bus that will take us away from here. We almost managed to fool them and now we are heading to the bus. Oh no, I hear the voice of this Rob the Cook. God, I really hope that he won't be able to catch us. Oh no, he caught us. We almost got on this bus, and at the last moment, this cook still managed to reach us. Well, I think on the second try, we will definitely be able to escape from them all. I think now we need to run into the far door of this bus so that these guys definitely won't have a chance to catch us. Well, 
It's good that we know how to trick the first two robots. But the final robot seems to me to be the cruelest because he moves much faster than the others. Okay, now we'll run right into the last door. Great, we're finally inside the bus. Hooray! We finally escaped from them. I really hope they won't be able to get inside this bus. Great, our bus is leaving and they are staying in this stupid school. Okay, we finished this game and we died in it only a few times. I will be very surprised that we managed to finish this game so quickly today. Yes, I am also very surprised by this because I thought that it would take us much more time to complete this game. By the way, unfortunately, we cannot take the driver's seat. Well, I really like this game very much because it is really extremely scary. It has a lot of screamers, and in general, this game is quite interesting because it has a lot of tests that we saw in previous games. And now let's go straight to the next game. It looks like today we'll end up in Area 51. It's the most secret place in the world. They say there's information about aliens there. Oh yeah, I heard about this place and I think it's really creepy. Okay, now we need to climb this lamppost and then go straight along these wires further. I hope this game won't be too hard, but in general, I like to play all modes in Roblox because to be honest, Escape from Barry's prison in the new setting is already starting to bore me a little. By the way, in this game, in addition to all other tasks, we still need to collect 25 red Roblox logos. And it looks like we got to the room in which there are two logos. Okay, we took them and now we need to go back. I really hope that we can collect all 25 logos and we will get something for it. Now we need to jump over this weird green goo and we'll go straight to Area 51. By the way, it's extremely strange that it's so poorly guarded. Okay, we were able to get inside and it looks like the camera captured us doing it. And now it's quite possible that the security system will turn on. Yes, the security system really turned on here and now we have to jump over these lasers. I don't think it will be difficult for us. We can definitely handle it. This task looks pretty easy. By the way, we found another red Roblox logo. And now we're heading forward. Now we'll need to avoid that red laser. Okay, I think this is a pretty atypical task, but we can definitely handle it. I have never seen such tests. Here we need to jump into this hole so that the laser does not blow off our heads. Okay, we got to some next room. Here we need to jump over this grid of lasers. It was a pretty easy test and we also found the fifth red Roblox logo. Look, you got into some new location. There is some strange blue gear spinning down here. Okay, we found the key to the door and now with the help of this key, we will need to open the door and go on to complete this game. Now we got into some huge location in which there is some strange black liquid down there. Look, there's some very strange eye here. I don't know what it really is, but it looks like some kind of alien eye. Yes, it really is. Well, okay, I think we shouldn't pay attention to it because it seems to me that this eye is absolutely not hostile. It doesn't want to harm us, so all we need to do is just continue our journey forward. Now we need to jump on these platforms, and the main thing is not to touch these red lasers. By the way, it looks like there really is a pretty good security system here because it will be pretty hard for us to get through it. Just look at this huge glowing wall. Okay, we need to run past it now. And then we'll go forward. Now we can get to some next location. By the way, there's some kind of store here and it looks like we could buy something for Robux in this store. But we won't do that. I think we can handle it without additional donation help here. I absolutely do not understand what is the real point of donating here. Because basically in this labyrinth, the arrows point where we need to go and we found the exit from here very quickly. Well, okay, we finally got out of this labyrinth and now we got to some giant location. Just look, there is some giant green alien with tentacles and now he is running after us. We need to run away from him as soon as possible. I hope we don't have to put in much effort to escape from there. Okay, this guy seems to have slipped and fallen. Well, now we need to run through these pipes straight into the ventilation in order to escape from him. By the way, this is some strange ventilation again. 
It seems that the developers of such modes have a limited imagination because they add these ventilations to absolutely every level. Okay, we got to some strange location. Now, we need to press the button here in order to open the door and get to the next location. Lord, I am very interested to know when we will actually get to the final point here. It looks like we've ended up in some location where rockets to the moon are sent from. Just look! There's some huge, strange rocket here. It looks like we're going to have to go there right now. Now we have to climb up these really weird steps. Well, okay, let's do it right now. Great! We pressed the checkpoint, and right now we can get into this rocket and go straight into space. Okay. We are already right here, and now we have to fly into space on this rocket. Wait, what? It looks like this rocket is flying straight to the moon. Okay. It looks like we are going to be on the moon right now. But it looks like now we are inside a spaceship, and here we have to go through some weird tests again. Okay, so now we have to go through these extremely strange tests and here it seems there are a huge number of some strange cubes that are smiling. To be honest, I absolutely do not understand what they are doing on this spaceship, but apparently they are extremely necessary here. Okay, we ran past them without any difficulties, and now we got to the next section of the spaceship. And now we need to pass the test with this extremely strange red moving wall. Okay, this test is quite similar to the test in Barry's prison escape, where we found ourselves in a corridor with a rolling stone. But this test looks a little different, because here, instead of a stone, there is a wall. By the way, I think we won't be able to collect all these red Roblox logos today. I have a feeling that we've already missed several of these logos in this game. Okay, let's just run on. And now, we'll have to go down to some strange location. It looks like this is the space prison, and we had to stay in this space prison for two whole days. Apparently, this strange blue-haired guy came to free us from here. Okay, great. Finally, we can get out of here and continue our journey. By the way, Mr. Alien seems to be the owner of this Area 51. Okay, well, let's try to escape from here as soon as possible and go straight to the finish line. We need to get out of this prison as soon as possible. And it looks like these strange lasers will prevent us from doing this. Okay, well, the main thing now is to just go to the checkpoint and then we'll go down where we'll have to jump over some strange lasers again. Okay, I don't think this will be a difficult test for us because we've already jumped over a huge number of lasers here and these lasers won't be an exception either. We got to some strange place. Now we need to overcome it. We just run forward and then we went to some platform with lasers. Well, okay. Now we will need to quickly finish this test and we will finally go straight to the finish line. We got to some strange place. Now we need to overcome it. We just run forward and then we went to some platform with lasers. Well, okay. Now we will need to quickly finish this test and we will finally go straight to the finish line. Okay, we pressed the first button. Now we need to get to the second one. The second button is behind this large number of strange blue lasers, and I think we can jump over them without any problems. And then after we jump over all these lasers, we need to quickly move on. Wow, just look, a very strange hologram of us was created. Finally, you've finished playing this game. Oh my God, we've been trying so hard to beat this. And now we can finally get to the finish line, okay? Now let's just jump on these platforms. Oh no, we jumped right into that green guy's mouth. Well, okay, now the game is over and we're moving on to the next game. This tree really does look gigantic. Oh my God, it looks like we're going to have to climb right into its mouth to start our journey. It looks like we're falling somewhere. Oh my God, we've entered some kind of portal and it looks like we're right inside this tree now. Okay, now we'll need to find a way out of here. Okay. Now we need to run along these weird sticks, and then we need to run towards this weirdest pie. Oh my god, I think the platforms in this game were designed by some weirdest person. Where did the pie inside the tree come from? Maybe it's a reference to something, but to be honest, I have absolutely no idea what. Okay, now the main thing for us is not to step on these strange purple platforms, and then we'll go forward avoiding other purple platforms. God, this is the strangest decision to make these platforms purple. Okay, 
We found ourselves inside some strange plate with fruits. I don't understand what's going on in this game at all. It seems like this level was created by some extremely sick fantasy. But we just need to keep moving forward and jumping on these platforms, despite all the strangeness of this game. By the way, I like that we get to all the checkpoints here as quickly as possible, and there are really quite a lot of checkpoints in this game. It seems that all these checkpoints really help us get through this whole game and keep us where we need to. It seems to me that if there were fewer checkpoints in this game, it would be much more difficult for other players to get through this game. Yes, I agree with you. There are really a lot of checkpoints in this game. It seems that this was created specifically for new players, so that it would be as easy as possible for them to complete this game. It seems to me that this game really has quite a lot of very difficult tests that we will have difficulties with. But so far, we have not died even once, and it seems to me that we will not have too many difficulties here. Now we jump over these purple stripes, and then we head straight to some strange portal. Wow, just look. This portal has taken us to the outside of this tree and now we have to move along its branches. Okay, I think it won't be that hard. Although these branches seem pretty thin to me, and if we really moved along such thin branches in real life, it would be extremely difficult for us to get to the top. Now we need to jump on these green leaves and then we will go to the next checkpoint. Okay, finally, there is variety in this game. And now we need to go along this platform without touching these strange yellow things. In general, it seems to me extremely strange that there are some yellow things on the tree. Maybe it is resin. Okay, so far we've been doing pretty well with this game. Now we need to get to the next leaves here and jump to the very top. I don't think it'll be hard either. And now we've reached the weird red apple. And now we need to wait for something. Okay, so it turns out we've been waiting for this thing to take us to another platform all this time. Oh my god, I think the game developers should have added a more obvious hint because we didn't really get it from the start. Okay, I guess at this stage it doesn't matter at all. Now we need to concentrate on passing this level without any problems. I don't think we'll have any problems in this game! In fact, despite its complexity, I think we'll get through it without making any mistakes! This game really looks very difficult, but I think it's not as difficult as it looks. We'll be able to get through it very easily. Now we have climbed up some strange stairs, and then we have to run along this very thin branch. Lord, it seems to me that this tree really has too many different thin branches. It looks like this is some kind of bush and not a tree. And now we need to use another transport thing, and I hope that we will not have any problems. It seems that we are not allowed to touch these strange pink things here. In general, it is quite strange that there are some pink things that just levitate in the air. But it seems to me that I am starting to do nonsense again and try to find logic in Roblox in which there is absolutely none. You shouldn't look for logic in Roblox. It seems to me that if we were looking for logic here, we would have questions about these blue platforms. In fact, it may seem that this is just some kind of moisture that has accumulated on these branches. But I think that is illogical that we cannot step on water. Now we need to run along this strange branch forward. By the way, it's pretty strange that this branch is divided into several parts. And then we go straight to some strange, huge hive. I hope we won't have problems getting through it. I think it will be as easy as possible. This hive does not look huge at all. We just need to jump on these platforms and then run on this extremely strange thin stick. In general, the choice of tests from these developers is super strange. It seems to me that all this does not look as if we are in a real hive. The developers of this game should have done a little better in the design and tests here. By the way, it's quite strange that we can't step on honey. Although it's quite possible that it's just quite viscous and we won't be able to get out of here because of it. I think that's why we shouldn't step on it. Okay, we passed through this hive and it wasn't difficult at all. I thought that we would be able to pass this test very quickly. Okay, now we need to run further. And now we will need to climb this branch straight to the top. Oh my god, the textures in this game are the worst. They are very difficult to get through because sometimes they really interfere with the view. 
But now, we finally got to the very top of this stick, and now it looks like we will have to go further, despite all these difficulties with textures. Although it is possible that this is some kind of complication of the game from the developers, although it looks really idiotic. Okay, let's try to get through this foliage to the very top. By the way, I can already see some extremely strange platform, and it looks like we'll have to run towards it and then climb up this extremely strange orange ladder to the top. By the way, it's very surprising that there is a ladder in this tree. Perhaps one of the other players left it. Okay, now let's jump on these weird green balls. Well, we've reached another platform and I can already see a checkpoint. Okay, now we just need to keep going forward and go through various tests. In fact, I'm already extremely tired of voicing this game. If anything, guys, this is the same editor of all these videos who voices these characters speaking to you. And to be honest, I don't even know what I should say in this game because everything that happens here is extremely monotonous. So I hope that you really appreciate my work and like this video. Bluey, I think you're talking complete nonsense. You should watch what comes out of your mouth a little better. Ha ha, actually, this is also a joke and this is also voiced by the same editor. Guys, keep watching what's happening in this game. I hope you like it. Okay! So now we have to climb up these weird brown sticks and I think I can already see the end of this game. Oh my god, it seems like we've been playing this game forever. And by the way, here again is this extremely weird foliage that we have to go through. Yes, I think we've almost reached the very end of this game. There are only a few tests left to go through before the finale and we've already reached the penultimate checkpoint. Well, okay, now we need to jump over these blue sticks and then head straight forward to the finish line. There's just a little bit left, and we'll finally be at the finish line. Great! Finally, we've reached the very top of this tree. Well, this game was really quite difficult, but we got through it the first time, and I really enjoyed this game. Now, let's move straight to the next game. It looks like there are now school bullies in this hallway that we'll have to beat up. It looks like our only remaining partner doesn't have any weapons with him, so we'll have to fight these bullies ourselves in order to protect him. This is very sad because it looks like this guy won't be able to fight the final boss with us. He'll just have to avoid all of his attacks. Okay, I think there's one last bully left that we need to beat up. It seems you forgot that this school bully is actually just a gym security guard and we don't even need to hit him. Okay. I think we can use the simulator now to restore our mental health. By the way, it's pretty strange that with the help of the simulator, mental health is restored here instead of increasing damage. Looks like math class has started. Right now we need to head towards that class. By the way, it's pretty weird that last time we played this game, we looked like some red creatures with black eyes. But today, we're playing it in Spider-Man skin. Okay, we are finally here, and now I think we should look for something in these boxes. But it looks like they are completely empty. Okay, apparently we will not wait for any more loot in this game. Well, now let's stay in this math lesson and restore our mental health. It looks like some kind of math test is about to start. We need to find out our grade. Wow, that's not bad. I don't think we even prepared for this lesson. But still, our grade isn't terrible. And by the way, our only remaining classmate got a terrible grade on the test. I hope he doesn't get punished by his parents for this. Okay, I think the lesson is over now, which means we can leave this classroom right now. Wait, oh no, those school bullies have appeared in the hallway again. We'll have to fight them again. I think there are even more of them this time. I hope they won't hurt our natural classmate too much. Actually, beating up these high school kids isn't that hard. It's enough to just run around them and hit them with this crowbar because their turning speed is too slow. Just look! Our classmate is running away from this guy. But I think we can save him from all these high school kids. Great! Now I think we should find something else to do. We won't have time to do anything else. Now we need to run to the chemistry class and start the lesson. By the way, just look. There are a huge number of multicolored flasks on the table. It looks like we'll have to make some strange potion today. Okay, let's try to do it. There is some kind of hint drawn on the board, but to be honest, I absolutely do not understand what order of actions should be in order for us to mix this potion. 
Okay, we didn't manage to do it on the first try. I think we need to guess the perfect combination after which this potion will not explode. Maybe there are some clues here somewhere? But to be honest, it seems to me that the periodic table that is on that wall can't help us at all. That's why we need to do it at random. By the way, just look. We just managed to guess the correct sequence of three flasks. Now we need to try to mix several flasks so that they don't explode. And I think that we are already as close as possible to the correct answer. Huh, great! Finally we managed to do it. Now we got some kind of potion, and it is quite possible that we will be able to use it in the future. But for now, we can't do absolutely anything. Okay, I think it's time to finish this lesson so that we can move on. Let's head to the hallway right now, and I can already see new school bullies. Looks like we're going to have to fight them again. There are actually quite a few of these guys here. We need to beat them up so we can continue playing this game. By the way, it looks like there are three of them here. Okay, our friend hid in this locker and that's how he escaped from these bullies. Okay, now it looks like we need to head to that detention class again. I really hope that this time we won't have any difficulty escaping from this creepy blue hair because last time I was really afraid that we wouldn't be able to escape from him. I hope this time we won't have such a problem. We can just have our punishment and go home. Okay. It looks like we stayed in this class until the evening. Well, now the windows are boarded up. It looks like this was done so that we could not escape from this class. But this is a rather strange measure, because I think that with the help of a crowbar, these boards can be very easily broken and open the windows. In principle, this was logical, but it seems that in this game, it works completely differently. I hope this guy doesn't suddenly appear here because I'm getting really scared. I remember how creepy his face is and I wouldn't want to meet him again. But it also looks like I think we'll have to open the door and try to escape from here through the main exit. I hope this guy doesn't see us and doesn't chase us. Yes, this guy is really scary as hell. But I think we can still escape from him because we're almost out of here. Oh no, it's that same blue hair and it looks like he's coming our way. Okay, I managed to hide in the locker, but it looks like he was able to scare our friend really badly, which is why he started taking damage. Okay, I hope he can restore his health and we can continue our escape from here. Okay, I can already see the exit door, and it looks like we'll finally be able to escape from here. Oh my god, I feel like I've been waiting for this moment for a long time, and I hope that this really is our last escape from this school. Oh no, someone closed the gate. Oh my god, it's that same blue hair, and he's running towards us now. Oh no, it looks like this is the end. Okay, this guy came running here, and it looks like now we are waiting for the final meeting with him. God, I really don't want to fight against him because it seems to me that this guy is really very strong. In general, in principle, fighting against a robot is not a very good idea because he is absolutely not afraid of pain. Well, it looks like we'll have to try to break him somehow. He wants to fight us to the death. But this guy probably doesn't know that we're professionals in passing such games and we've already killed a huge number of bosses. Oh no, just look. It looks like this boss has some special attacks. Well, I think we'll have to fight him ourselves because this guy has absolutely no weapons and he won't be able to resist this boss. It looks like this boss has several types of attacks. And now we have to study how he attacks so that we can find the right moments to run up to him and damage him. It looks like sometimes he throws dynamite and sometimes he burrows underground. And while there tries to get to one of the players, oh no. By the way, here is the third type of attack. And it looks like he just stands in one place and starts spinning so that a tornado is created that damages all surrounding players. Okay, this guy won't be easy to kill, but it will be even harder to kill him solely because we will have to attack him alone. This guy really scares me a lot but I know for sure that I have to kill him today because we have been playing this game for a really long time and we cannot lose at the very end of this game. We decided to speed up this final fight. 
because it was very long and boring, we had to attack this boss ourselves because our ally had no weapon. And in general, this ally could not avoid all the attacks of this boss, and because of this, he lost. So we decided to speed up the whole process of the battle with this boss for you, because it lasted really long, and we did the same type of actions. Oh my god, we finally did it! I can't even believe that we finally managed to defeat this boss! It was really extremely long, but nevertheless, we managed to complete this game. In fact, I really, really like this game, because it had a huge number of different interesting tests that are not in other games. And now our character will run towards the house, and we will go straight to the next game. It looks like you and I turned into Spider-Man instead of those weird red creatures today. Okay, that looks really unusual, but it looks like that's what we'll have to put up with today. In fact, it's much cooler than being weird red creatures that look terrible. And by the way, today we'll be escaping from this creepy toy store again. Well, this is one of my favorite games. Okay, let's start the walkthrough. It's good that we've played this game several times and we already know perfectly well what we need to do here. To be honest, I still can't quite get used to our new appearance. It really looks very unusual. I hope that our appearance will not greatly affect our skill in playing this game. I don't think it can affect anything. At least it never affected our skill. And in general, it's extremely cool. Just think about it. You and I turned into different Spider-Men. I totally agree with you. This is really awesome. And when we finish playing this game, we'll have to check. Maybe we've got these cool superpowers? I think we can only dream about this. Okay, let's start going through this labyrinth. And by the way, Mr. Fun will appear here very soon. But for me, he appears most unexpectedly all the time. I'm very afraid of him. And here comes Mr. Funny, and he's running after us right now. Lord, I'm so scared of him, especially his glowing green eyes and very creepy gait. I really don't want to stop. But it's good that I actually remember where the exit is, and it won't be hard for me to escape from here. It seems to me that somewhere around here we should soon see red arrows. And here they are. Excellent. This means that the exit is already very close. Lord, this guy was as close as possible to us. We managed to escape from him. Well, okay, now we need to jump on these platforms and then we will go straight to the next test. If conveyor belts constantly pissed me off, I am very much irritated by the speed with which they move because it is very difficult to stand on them. Okay, now we will need to complete this rather simple game. The main thing is not to move at the moment when this scary doll is turned to face us. By the way, we have never lost this test. It is really quite easy. It is good that there is a huge indicator on top that tells us when we need to stop and when we can run. And it is also very funny that this guy constantly has different intervals between turning his head. And now we are heading straight to a very dark place with lasers. We need to get past these lasers without touching them. In fact, it is extremely cool that these lasers do not kill us, but only damage us because this test for beginners will really be quite difficult. But we knew very well the route we needed to take, and therefore, getting to this elevator was absolutely no problem for us. We finally got to the next challenge, but here we have to wait a little bit for it to start because apparently there is a cleaning going on in this place now after this giant robot corrupted everything there last time. By the way, it is quite funny that there is a timer here. It is good that there is no queue of other players who would be waiting for the end of this timer together with us. Okay, we finally waited for this test to begin. It's going to start right now. In fact, we also know very well how we need to pass this test. The main thing now is to take a position with which we can begin to build a very long route for this robot. He'll have to break a really huge number of different blocks in order to get to us. So this guy will appear here right now. Okay, now we need to stand here so that he has to break a huge number of different blocks. Because of this, we are stretching out time a lot and it takes him a really long time to get to us. By the way, 40 seconds is a really long time to hold out in this test. Good thing we only have 20 seconds left to hold out here and this guy hasn't even broken half of these blocks. Okay, 
I think we're actually doing a pretty good job of holding this guy off so he can't get to us. Just look at this stupid robot. He's really trying to break all the blocks one by one. But he definitely won't be able to get to us because we calculated everything so well. Okay, now we can run straight to the next test. This guy really made a big mess here. And now I understand why the preparation for the next round and these tests take so long. It looks like one of the blocks blocked our way. It's good that there was a small gap through which we were still able to get here, because otherwise we would have had to run away from this robot a second time, and it would have been a really long and tedious task. And now we've reached some very dark warehouse. I think it would be a great idea to turn on the flashlight here. Although in fact, with the help of this flashlight, we can accidentally summon this evil doll. So I think that we can basically go through all this on our own without the help of a flashlight and then go straight into this incomprehensible ventilation. In fact, it wasn't really ventilation. Rather, it was just a continuation of the conveyor belt. Okay, and now we've reached the location where we'll have to ride this forklift. I'm generally amazed by the size of this storage room in the toy store. Is it really that huge? And what is Lava doing in the Toy Store warehouse, anyway? This has always been a rather strange question for me. I really hope that someday the day will come when you stop looking for logic in Roblox. I think you should just continue to enjoy the process of passing this game and forget about all the logical things that should be here. By the way, these forklift races are also quite strange because it seems to me that such a heavy, small car cannot jump over a ramp. Okay. I think you're right, and we should just continue to play this game the same way we've always played it. By the way, we've already completed these forklift races, and now we've reached the fourth test in this game. By the way, to be honest, it's always really pissed me off. Now we need to jump right into this pipe, and then we will start to pass this stupid test. It also really annoys me because of this side view. Wait, what is going on here? Is it just me, or was the head of this doll moving too fast? In general, as far as I remember, in this test, there should be blocks that we should touch with our heads, because of which there will be an explosion, and this guy will be thrown back. Wait, I don't get it. Why does this game really not have these things? I think the developers forgot to add them. Maybe there is some kind of bug in this game, but we won't be able to get further in this challenge. What are we supposed to do here? I think we should try jumping into this pipe again. Maybe these things will start appearing, but for me, it really seems extremely strange. Similar developers really don't care about this game, and they decided to simply remove these blocks. I don't think these things will start appearing. Most likely, some kind of bug really happened in this game that doesn't allow us to complete this game. God, this really irritates me. I was really hoping that today I would be able to complete this game completely. Looks like today we still have no chance to beat this game because these blocks don't appear and this head really moves too fast. Looks like the developers really broke something in their game. Well, for that reason, I think we should stop trying to beat this game and go straight to the next game we wanted to play right now. Great idea, Bingo. I think that's exactly what we'll do. Let's do it right now. Is this really our favorite game? Well, okay, let's not linger and just start running forward. I hope we'll do great in this game. I don't think you should even doubt it. Okay, well, let's just keep running. We have already played this game a lot of times, but today we had a desire to try to play it again because this game is really one of the most interesting in Roblox. Okay, now we jump down. And now we will need to run along these pipes so as not to fall into this giant toothy mouth. By the way, I was always amazed by the fact that we can calmly jump on these balls and they don't even burst. So we got to the next location. Now the main thing is not to accidentally touch this flame because it will burn us and we will die. Don't worry. I definitely won't make this mistake because I've already passed this level and I know the timings by which to move forward. Okay, it was pretty easy for me. And now the main thing is to run through these pipes. It seems to me that there are already too many games in Roblox that you can easily complete with your eyes closed. Okay, now run through this pipe so that these clown hands can't grab you. 
This test is also quite easy because the main thing here is to remember the timings, and I remember them perfectly. Okay now, we need to jump on these pipes, and then we will go up this giant spiral strange staircase. I've always been really surprised by this staircase shape in this game. Is it really convenient for someone to climb up it? Okay, I think we definitely won't have problems with this because such stairs are found in a huge number of Roblox modes, and we are already masters at climbing them. And now we need to run along this very thin pipe and then we will go to the next room. By the way, walking along this thin pipe always scared me a lot because I was afraid that it might break, but it seems to me that this cannot happen in this game. Yes! I think if it could happen, then it would definitely happen during one of those times when we go through this game. Okay, now we have added to the next location, and this is the room with circular saws. In fact, it is not so difficult to pass by them because you can go past them from the side instead of waiting for them to disappear each time. By the way, we finally got to the Ferris wheel and now this scary clown with a knife has appeared here again. In fact, it is not that difficult to run around this clown. We just had to run around him and climb onto this platform in order to jump from it into the Ferris wheel carriage. Okay, now we need to go up. Wait, what's going on? Is it just me or is this game lagging? I hope it's not our computer that's having problems, but the server of this game. Okay, running away from this clown turned out to be quite an easy challenge. Now we need to get to this wooden platform and then run forward along this wooden bridge that doesn't inspire confidence at all. Well, yes, moving on these wooden planks is really extremely scary. It seems to me that it is physically impossible to build such a strange wooden bridge. Someone must fall down from it. Okay. Now we jumped on these balloons, and now we will go down on this free fall attraction. Okay, now we need to go to the very bottom. By the way, I was always scared by the fact that there is lava at the very bottom of this attraction. It's good that this attraction doesn't touch it. Otherwise, we would definitely burn. Okay, now we need to run forward, and now we will need to pass these tests with spears and sharp blades that fall down. This test is actually not the easiest because here you also need to know the timings. Okay, now we just need to run forward and then we will need to go across this bridge where there are two huge swinging maces on chains. I hope that we will pass them with ease. That was pretty easy too. Okay, and now we need to move on. And now we'll jump into this orange portal from which we'll go straight to some extremely strange dimension. Here we'll need to cross this bridge and then we'll go and take the next tests. I was always extremely scared to jump over this bridge because the planks on it are too narrow. Okay, now we'll run further. Now we need to run along these rusty platforms so that these fiery things don't burn us alive. In general, these fiery things have always scared and confused me because I don't understand what this is at all. Yes. These flamethrowers look pretty weird, and it's not clear how they work at all. But I think looking for logic in this game is absolutely pointless, because this is Roblox, and there is nothing logical here. Okay, we ran to the next yellow portal, and now this portal will speed us up as much as possible. In fact, this is my favorite part of this game, because here we run at a very high speed, and I really like it very much. Yes? I am also very inspired by how we pass this test because I really love high speed. It's a pity that this test turned out to be quite short. Okay, now we need to run to this blue portal that will increase our jump height. This is also a pretty interesting boost, but unfortunately, this boost will not stay with us forever. Now we need to jump on these platforms in order to get to the very top of the tower. In fact, I like the boost from the yellow portal more than the boost from the blue one because I like running at high speed much more than jumping high. And also, this test seems to me longer than the previous one because here, we really have to try for a very long time. It's good that we are given the opportunity to use the yellow portal again in order to jump into this volcano with a running start and end up right in front of the creepy clown's house. We finally got to this creepy house. In fact, the tests inside this house are also quite difficult, but they are justifiably difficult because these are the last tests in this game. And in fact, I have never seen a test like this test with these purple stripes on the floor. 
it seems to me that this test is really quite difficult because the viewing angle is very distorted here. By the way, we rarely managed to pass this test on the first try, but today is the day when we were able to do it. Now we need to run past these strange traps that look like a silver crown, and then we will go to the next tests. This test also really pisses me off because in it, everything really moves extremely unpredictably. I think you'll be able to pass this test on the first try too. All that's left is to get past these rotating glow sticks and we'll find ourselves in the last test before the final scene in this game. Cool, finally we got further. Now we will need to run along this strange red-yellow conveyor belt so as not to crash into these translucent walls. In fact, this test is not as difficult as it may seem. It can be passed if you use our life hack when you switch to the camera from the side. And now we're running straight to the final scene. Here we'll need to get on this roller coaster and then we'll go forward. By the way, I always thought it was extremely strange that only one car works in this roller coaster because usually there should be several. Okay, now let's ride this attraction. I'd really like to ride something like this in real life, but I wouldn't want this attraction to end the way it does in this game. Eh, cool, now we'll just ride forward. By the way, this roller coaster is really very extreme. It seems to me that if it was a whole attraction, it would be the coolest. But unfortunately, it wasn't finished here. But precisely because it wasn't finished, we'll be able to jump using this ramp and find ourselves outside this carnival. Well, I really like this game. Now let's move straight on to the next game. Actually, it's not really a school. It's more like an academy. And now we're told that we need to look for items in the lockers. Okay, let's see what's here and what we can get here. We found some bananas, coffee, and some other food. Okay, I don't know why we might need all this. And by the way, besides all this, we also found a sledgehammer and money. I wonder why we might need money in this game. 20 bucks to get into a gym? This guy is seriously crazy. Okay, I think we should go somewhere else and maybe someday we'll give him the 20 bucks. Looks like math class is starting. Right now we need to go there and apparently we'll start studying there. And by the way, in these classrooms, there are also various lockers with items in them. Okay, the main thing is not to forget about this and always loot all the lockers in the new classrooms we enter. Okay. We sat down at the desk, drank our morning coffee, and right now we can start getting all the knowledge. By the way, having a snack, I think would not be superfluous either. Okay, let's just sit and get the knowledge that this teacher gives us. I don't want to sit in this class anymore. I'm already tired of everything here. Please let us out. We want to see what else is in this school. Oh, it seems to me that the lesson is finally over and we can go out. Now we can go to the cafeteria and buy food here. But I don't really see the point because we already have enough items in our inventory that can restore our health. So I think we'll still save up money to pay this bully so he can let us into the gym. By the way, the reading lesson has started, and right now, we need to get to the classroom where this lesson is taking place. By the way, just look. In this classroom, there is even a cage with a very cute hamster. It would be great if we could somehow feed it or something like that. Well, okay, now we need to take our place and start gaining new knowledge. It's quite strange that we have a lesson with a teacher who is extremely silent. I think that these guys should at least start saying something because it seems to me that we are not getting any knowledge at all. Finally, this lesson is over and we can go about our business. I think now we should figure out where it would be better for us to go. Oh no, it looks like we're being sent to detention class now. I wonder what we did that was so bad that we were all sent here. It looks like we got into a fight with some player and now we are here because of it. Oh, it looks like our punishment is over. And now they are showing us some book that describes the mascot of this school. It looks like this guy is really dangerous. They say that this guy likes to play. And it seems that every time the school day ends, he becomes kind of angry or something like that. I really hope that he won't scare us in this game because this guy's face really does look extremely scary. Okay, it looks like our punishment is over now and we need to escape from this school. But it's pretty weird that there's absolutely no one in this school. 
In general, it seems extremely weird to me to stay at school until dark because usually no one spends time at school for that long. Wait, what is this? There are some locks or something hanging on the door. It looks like now we need to find three keys to open this door. Wait, what? Looks like some lasers have appeared here, and now we need to explore this location in search of keys. Okay, I hope our teammates won't stand AFK and actually help us find these keys because I would like to run home as soon as possible. Look, other players are already starting to find keys. It looks like they don't need our help anymore today. Yes, all the players have found